Hi everyone, Harrison here from LED Torch Shop, back again with another Lumen Top. I just feel these guys are just bringing out new light after new light and different lights as well. They're not just updating, they're just creating new, innovating, and this one is just cool, real different LED, LEP uh, combos, and just something a little bit strange, then I definitely recommend grabbing yourself this. But this is the Thor 4 from Lumen Top, so let's get into it. Da -da -da -da. So what you get in the pack of your Thor 4, first of all, is it comes in a box like this. You get your Thor 4 straight out. Now that comes included with a 21700 battery. Unprotected cell, fully rechargeable light, like all lumen tops or majority of lumen tops, they come with an E-switch as well. You get your lanyard here. You get your USB-C charging cable and USB-A at the other end. A couple spare O-rings, very typical. And you get an 18650 sort of sleeve as well if you've got a bunch of 18650s that you wanna run. You can run it in this torch. And you get your user manual. Now, of course, user manuals are always very important to read, but even more so when you're running Lumen Tops um, and if you're not familiar with sort of the e-switch and interface of Lumen Tops, it's definitely worth a read uh, because there's a lot to unpack and yeah, Definitely get to know your light before you use it. Just being able to switch in between those different modes as well. So quick, easy read, and yeah, you won't have any other dramas with your light. Let's dive straight into this thing because I really, really dig it. It's just such a cool design. Super compact for a 21700 design. Yeah, you're only looking at sort of about that sort of 12 centimeters long, 12, 13 centimeters, about six centimeters wide, um, and sort of about two centimeters or so for the lens. But have a look at the business end there. You've got your LEP there and you've got your LED sort of combo side there. And it's got this sort of typical Thor design with the reflectors. Also inside that LEP is a reflecting ring as well, a photoluminescent ring as well, which is cool when you've got it on for a little bit and it starts to glow when you turn it off. I actually like that. It should be should be cool, should be fun. And that's what Lumen Top sort of got going here. Obviously fully rechargeable through that little port at the back here on the opposite side to the switch. Just release that and it just sort of little waterproof tab there. Got your USB-C cable input. Now, the LED is running off four emitters and it's gonna be 2800 lumens. So really, really nice amount of lumens. It's running off a Cree XP-LHI LED. So I'm obviously on like a little TIR lens there with sort of a frosted um, lens as well. So really, really sort of floody light, but you get a little bit of distance just because of those TIR lenses as well. But yeah, super usable uh, in close or walking around. Then you got your LEP and that's rated about over a thousand meters. So over a kilometer. And yeah, it's probably going to do that. It's actually quite a usable LEP, kind of a bit more usable than the Ant-Man, but kind of around that Thor 1 um, sort of usability, if you're familiar with that, um, that Thor. So it looks like they've sort of used the same sort of configuration with this one and then included the 2800 Lumen LED setup on here. A couple other notable facts, it's IPX8 rated, so two meters submersible, 1.5 meters drop resistance. So really nice uh, sort of features. On one side where the uh, LEDs are, you've got your heat sinks. So you can kind of see that that's gap, but on the LEP side, you don't really have any gaps there. So it doesn't need to disperse the heat as much as the LED side. So it's interesting that they haven't gone to do it on that side. It's probably where they got all their circuitry uh, and they probably wanted to maximize the amount of heat dispersion they can get on the LED side. So that's probably a better view of it there so we dive into the uh outputs and run times there's a lot to unpack because there's got combo options um just lep options just led options as well so on the led side we'll focus on that five modes moonlight low medium high and turbo so moonlight one lumen i love a one lumen output on a moonlight mode is just fantastic for just really really close up things um in the pitch black that you don't want to lose your total night vision for so that's great you get Huge amount of runtime of that off the 21700. Jump up to the low mode, 75 lumens. You're going to get about 20 hours of runtime off that. Then the medium mode, 
500 lumens for about three, four hour runtime. Um, again, great output there. And then you go high mode, which is about 1,000 lumens, just over 1,000 lumens. And again, you're going to get about sort of a minute 30 on that. It's going to drop down for another three and a half hours. And then you jump up to your turbo mode, which is 2,800 lumens, 45 seconds, and then three and a half hours sort of dropping down. So those high mode is, um, again, that 1,000 lumens, really usable, great light. Ramp up to that 2,800 lumens for a little bit and then drop down to your low and medium modes. Yeah, it's just quite usable those LEDs and I really like that configuration of the four four LEDs with um, that TIR sort of frosted lens there. It seems to work quite nicely. Jump just straight over to the LEP side of things. You get the LEP at 60 lumens um, and that's going to give you about 10 hours runtime. Then you can jump up to 70 lumens. It's gonna give you about eight hours runtime. Then you jump up to 130 lumens and it's gonna give you about three or four hours runtime. Um, and then you can jump up to high, which is 220 lumens. And again, about three and a half hours runtime. And then up to turbo, which is about 18 minutes. And then about three hours runtime when it drops down a little bit. But yeah, I sort of you don't notice the high end of the LEP changing that much. Um, so that high mode or medium mode are absolutely fine for this LEP, uh, which is yeah, pretty awesome light. I mean, the fact that you can just have one, both or the other, yeah, it's great. But jumping into combo mode now. So combo mode, you're running about 60 lumens on the moonlight mode just because that LEP sort of comes on quite strong. Getting about nine hours runtime on that. Jump up to your low, you got 120 lumens and that's about six hours runtime. 330 lumens on medium for about three and a half hours. And then high mode, you're running about 1150 lumens. Again, you're about a minute and a half and drop down for the next three hours or so. And turbo, you're gonna get 2750. Um, and that's about 45 seconds and drop down for the next three hours as well. I found that the combo mode, yeah, I didn't really use it too much or find that much use for it, I suppose. There probably is uh, use case scenarios for the combo mode, please let me know in the comments if you guys like the combo mode, but I find it a lot easier just to switch between LED when I'm walking around. And then if I wanna see a little bit further, chuck on that LEP. So yeah, looking to use a lot in between the LEP combo and LED, uh, really, really simple. So wherever I'm at at the moment, I'm just on the LEP. As you can see, quite a nice little hotspot. Doesn't matter if you're off or on, just a quick triple click. One, two, three. Now I'm in a combo setting and one, two, three. Now I'm just in an LED setting. So really simple to switch in between sort of all the modes. So yeah, if you were wanting to see a little bit further, sort of just, if you're just on the LED mode, quick triple click gets you straight to the LEP. You can sort of graze out a little bit longer. So interface wise, once you get used to it, uh, it yeah, it's, it's quite easy. If you're after something a little bit different, something that your friends haven't seen, something that's gonna give you a lot of enjoyment for a lot of years running off just a single 21700 with an 18650 adapter, uh, I definitely recommend the Thor 4. But if you're after something else uh, in the Lumentop range, I'll drop a link below to this light and the Lumentop range. You can reach it all there. They just make some fantastic, cool, innovative products that yeah, are just gonna give you a lot of enjoyment uh, while you're out at night. But Thanks for watching this one on the Lumentop Thor 4 and I'll catch you on the next one.